I, I appreciate uh, the council president's proposal for a, a compliance officer. Uh, it came after my proposal in January during the legislative session to create an inspector general, independent from both council and the mayor. See, what you had in this back and forth is a here we go again moment. These people who have been at City Hall 8, 12, 20 years Two. making the argument over and over again. The reality is that an inspector general, an independent inspector general who would have the ability to investigate and to re make prosecutorial referrals is, is necessary. When I proposed it, City Hall shut it down, sent over their lobbyists, taxpayer paid lobbyists, and a silk stocking law firm to shut it down. N not one of these people said anything except Ms. Bottoms who said that it was a political stunt or gimmick. It's not a political stunt. There's a culture of corruption at City Hall, and it has to stop as soon as possible. Keisha Lance Bonds, I would like you to respond, please. I did call it a gimmick because it was a gimmick, one of many. And it's interesting that you talk about our ability uh, to be transparent and to have ethics in place when, as a state senator, you signed an oath for office saying that you didn't owe money to the federal government. And as we stand here, you have tax liens. You also had your check garnished as an elected official. And so I find it interesting that you suddenly have an interest in transparency, but we don't have access to that information because as a state senator, you passed a law that exempted the Senate from the Open Records Act. Yeah, and Ms. Bottoms, one thing that the people of the city of Atlanta will not tolerate is hypocrisy. I have here copies of tax liens with your name on it. All right, so what you should do is make sure that uh, you don't throw rocks. You, you try to hide your hand and throw rocks. I'm not going to allow it. You've done it. You've got these tax liens, and you have the temerity to come into this place and talk about me. I don't think so. Well, hold on. I want to hear you respond. Yeah. Do you, Let sir, me. sir, do, sir, do you, no applause? Come on, y'all. Sir, do you, in fact, as she says, have tax liens? Oh, let me. I have an arrangement to pay anything I owe. That's the reality. Ms. Uh, Bottoms made $200,000 between two government jobs uh, in a city where we have the highest water rates. Ms. Bottoms didn't pay her water bill over seven or eight years. So once again, people who live in glass houses should not throw and stones. And please, yes. Sure, I would certainly like to respond to that. And those tax liens go back nearly 20 years and they were paid and satisfied. And actually those liens were incurred when my husband and I, who are celebrating 23 years of marriage today, started to begin our family and unsuccessfully, we could not have a child. And so we incurred an enormous amount of medical expenses and the, we had financial hardships. But unlike Senator Ford, I paid those tax bills. I've also paid my water bill each and every month. I budget my bills as anyone else in the city does, and I pay a set amount each month. And what I've said before is if your bill spikes to $800, I suggest that you not pay it either until you find out from the city of Atlanta why your bill has spiked to $800. Justin, last point. It yes. wasn't And two, I would like to know, have you paid years. off your lease? It wasn't 20 years ago. It was 2014. It wasn't a one-year spike in a water bill. It's a pattern over seven or eight years. Once again, I don't think the people of the city of Atlanta appreciate hypocrisy. In fairness, though, sir, it mm -hmm. sounds like you're saying she's a hypocrite, but it sounds like you're now on her about something well, that... Listen, she's the one that charged me. I just responded. Fair Did enough. you sign an oath of office saying that you don't owe any money to the government? Ms. Bottoms. Did you sign Ms. Bottoms, an oath of office once again, saying that you don't once again, owe money to the government? You stood here and said things that Did are absolutely you false. Sign Ms. An Bottoms, oath you of said office. things that are absolutely. I have arrangements with anyone I owed. You don't know the law. I do. Thank you.